This is what I bought this week. It's a little bit of a smaller haul. I'm trying to be more mindful to use up what I have. Oh, we have a friend. Rather than just buying new stuff every week when I still have leftovers to use up. So this is what I got for this week to help me stay on track and still use up the leftovers that I have. It is still my birthday week. Technically, I ate out last night. I still have leftovers to eat. So I will be eating some of that as well. I think that's the last birthday meal last night. And so I'll just eat those leftovers and then I'll be done with birthday celebrations till next year. But I'm gonna get back on track this week. I did kind of splurge really the last two weeks since it's been my birthday. Lots of friends, lots of eating out. So I kind of indulged. So back on track this week. So I tried to make good choices. Starting off, I bought some greens to make salads. I made a salad the other day with the last of the greens that I had. It was so good. So I bought some more red leaf lettuce. I like the red leaf lettuce. I feel like it lasts longer than the green leaf, but that's what I got. And some cucumbers for my salad, asparagus. I do have some fish I can cook up. And so I'll make the asparagus with the butternut squash that I have in the freezer to go with that. I bought some yogurt. I have been buying the full fat yogurt, but I ate in our work cafeteria the other day and I got breakfast there and they had the Dan and Light and Fit yogurt. And I was like, this is really good. I forgot that I actually liked it. I think I had got tired of it, so I stopped buying it. So I went ahead and got the Light and Fit, so that'll help me stay on track. And I'll try two different flavors. I normally get the strawberry cheesecake, that's my favorite, but this is like a s'mores flavor. So we'll try that. And then this is the peach flavor, which I do love peaches. I got some more Sara Lee Delightful Bread. I used up the last of the last loaf. I've got some more tomatoes. I really enjoyed these orange tomatoes in my salad. So I got another box. Got some more of the Stacy's Bagel Chips. So what I have for this, I can make adult lunch bowls. I've got some salami and some cheese. I also have that kind of feta cheese that I bought a couple weeks ago. It's still good in the fridge. I got it at Sprouts, I think. And I tasted it with these, just using these to dip in it, and it was so good. So I got that for a light snack with some protein with the cheese. Got eggs. I always buy eggs. I still have some in the fridge, but I may finish before my next haul. I'm going to try something different with the coffee. I'm just getting a little bored with my cans. I'll still be using them for a while, but I wanted to try this and see how this tasted. I think I've tried this before and I didn't think it was very strong. So I may still not really love this. I'm trying to get to Target so that I can buy my birthday present, which will be an espresso. Then I can have something different for coffee. I wanted a real espresso maker where you like put it in the little cup and put it in the machine, but I just don't have room in my tiny apartment for that right now. So an espresso will do the trick. And, and I got this to try this week just to have something different. I still have some of my cans left. And I got this just in case I needed something. I have some pasta. And in case I need another meal, if I run out of food or I need something, this will be in the freezer. It doesn't require a lot of cooking or preparation. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer and in the fridge and in the pantry. And this is my stock up for the week. We're a couple of days later now from the first haul and I made a quick call for a few more things just because I wanted to finish off some leftovers and I needed some things and I wanted my last birthday treat. I saw these when I went to Metropolitan Markets and I wanted to try them. So they're called beignets, but really this isn't really a beignet, I don't think, but we'll see. It looks more like a donut, but it might be a beignet. I'll taste it and see, you know, I'm from Louisiana, so <laughs> I'll be the judge of a beignet or a donut. And this is, some stone fire naan. So I'll probably split these in half. I have some leftover Indian I need to finish. This will help me finish it. I've got some mayonnaise. I ordered this in the Fred Meyers haul, but they didn't have it, so they refunded it. So I went ahead and ordered it at Metropolitan Market so that I could make some tuna salad probably next week. I really wanted these string cheese, so I bought these a 
coworker left some in the fridge for us to finish. They didn't want them, and I just thought they were so good. And you can buy a big pack like this, so they'll last a long time. It's just a great snack. Tony's, I was almost out of Tony's. They're back to the normal packaging, no more of the old fashioned packaging, but got some more Tony's. Ginger tea, I like to have this. And a little bit of hummus to help me eat some of my snacky foods. So I love this type of hummus. This is my favorite hummus to buy store-bought. So just a little how to fill in the gaps. I really wanted the string cheese. I needed the mayo and I needed a refill on this, but what I really wanted was these beignets. <laughs> so we'll try them. I'll let you know whether they're a beignet or a donut. And then whatever I don't eat, I'll probably eat one or two. And then I'll bring the rest to work and just share with my coworkers. Using up some more leftovers, I've got a half a cup of rice here. This is brown and white rice. Put a little olive oil spray in the pan. And I'm gonna use up some of these bell peppers and onions that I sauteed together to use them up before they went bad. And two of my eggs, and I'm gonna make some yellow rice. So very simple, this will be made ahead and I'll take it with me to work for breakfast tomorrow. This is really simple and a great way to use up leftover rice. It's a finished product. I'm gonna put it in my container. We're ready to go to work tomorrow. This is the last serving of my birthday leftovers. At work, they ordered me Thai food. It was whatever I wanted. I chose Thai food. I got the basil fried rice with chicken and spring rolls. I had one of the spring rolls here with the last serving of the basil fried rice. To go along with my fish, I wanted to make a butternut squash and asparagus. I didn't have any onion this time, so I left that out. I like to saute the butternut squash in olive oil with Tony Sashri's Creole seasoning. I usually add onion, but I didn't have any. For the asparagus, I like to cook it with this Portuguese salt that I get from Trader Joe's. It's fun. This is the butternut squash I like to get. They're the right size, and I've just been loving asparagus. I know spring is over. It's a spring veg veggie, but <laughs> I don't think I can stop. So I'm gonna quickly cook this salmon in the air fryer. I added some olive oil, a little Tony's, a little Italian seasoning, and a little parsley. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna put it for about 380 for 12 minutes and see. I don't wanna overcook it. I have a tendency to overcook the fish, but this is my butcher box salmon. So we're gonna give it a try. Here we've got the cod, seasoned the same way. I added more olive oil spray to the air fryer because the salmon really stuck to it. I had to actually wash out the air fryer, but 
I've got it ready to go. Same seasonings, Tony Sachery's Italian seasoning and parsley with olive oil. I'm gonna put it in. This time I'm gonna cook it for less than 12 minutes. For one, the salmon looks a little dry, but also I think cod takes a little less time to cook. So, we'll see. All right, I've got the cod here in one of the containers and the salmon in the other. I had to cut the little salmon piece in half. And then I've got the veggies that are left over, so I'll use these later in the week with something else. And I like that I just have two servings because I won't get tired of it and I have more fish to cook on my next day off in a couple of days if I want to have seconds to finish off the asparagus, but I'm not obligated to it. So one meal down. I'm gonna prepare my sandwich tonight to bring to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna use two of this fresh loaf of Sara Lee bread. This is the multi-grain, I like all the varieties. I'm gonna put some oven roasted turkey breast, provolone cheese, and then I will cut an avocado at work so it'll be fresh and put about half. This is a large avocado. So I'll just put about half on there and that'll be one of my meals and there are chips at work if I need there's a little snack machine I try not to buy snacking chips to have in the house because you know how that goes so if I really want chips with my sandwich I'll go get them and I may run into Safeway before work if I get up early enough and grab some carrots or something but I'm gonna use some of this up this cheese has been in the fridge for a minute I've got to start using it up before it turns blue on me and this I'm actually looking forward. I haven't had a sandwich in a while. So this will be a nice, easy meal prep. Haven't had sandwiches in a while, so I'm looking forward to it. Here it is all put together, very simple. I'm not gonna add mayo because I'm gonna add the avocado. If for some reason I decide not to add the avocado because it's not good when I open it up, it feels good. I'll just add mayo and mustard from work. They have condiments, little condiment packets in the cafeteria, so. One little meal ready to go. All right, I'm gonna use up this lettuce. I washed and dried this bit and I had a salad and I, this is what I had left so I didn't have to make any more this morning, I already had it. So I'm gonna chop up the cucumber and the tomatoes, add that, add the chicken and show you my finished salad that I'll take to work today. All right, I've got the cucumber and the tomato ready to go. I'm gonna put that each in here. So I like to put the cucumber in the big one because I usually have more cucumber. And then I put the tomato in this little one right here. There we go. I added the chicken to that little pocket right there. I poured this to about half. That's about a tablespoon or a little more. I'm gonna add Tony Sachery's Italian seasoning and parsley. And that will be my dressing along with a little squeeze of lemon. There it is. The seasonings will kind of soften in there with the oil. Pop that right in the middle. All right, I've got my greens in there. I've got my little wedge of lemon. It doesn't take much. I'm gonna take the seeds out before I pack it up. I've got pumpkin seeds here. This is half a serving. Plenty, more than plenty. And then I love my little container. I pop that on top. We've got tomato, cucumbers, and chicken olive oil in the middle right here and it's ready to go and the lid comes with this little handy dandy fork that actually works it's pretty sharp so i can use that i don't have to pack an extra fork but i do keep a set of utensils in my bag so i have something to eat with and there's plastic utensils at work if i need but one salad ready to go that'll finish up the lettuce that i chopped up a couple of days ago that needs to be used up and then i'll Make some more for the next few days. I got another Goodwill bag, actually two Goodwill bags. So I'm bringing them out to the car so I don't forget. But I'm getting rid of some sheets. They are just not the right color for the apartment and for the walls. My walls are this gray color all throughout the apartment and this just does not go. I thought the green was a different color green. And then when I got the package, in the mail, it wasn't right. I've had them for a while, I've used them somewhat, but they're still really good, almost new. These are some pillowcases that I think just match really well with that green color, but they don't work in my apartment. I'm hoping someone else can give them new life. And so, and I think that's all I have in there. 
have a few items in this bag too. I've got this dress that doesn't fit. It's actually too big. I've got this tumbler that I really like. I ordered it on Etsy, but it's starting to kind of peel a little bit right there. I'm learning that the ones you buy on Etsy a lot of times will do this. And so I'm just gonna pass it on. Maybe someone else will want it. I'm also out of room in my cupboard for all the tumblers that I have. So I need to move some out. And I've got these tumblers too that I got. These were some that I used a long time ago. I don't use this type anymore. And so I'm gonna give them away to someone else who's gonna put them to use rather than having them just sit there and collect dust. They're really good, high quality. Nothing wrong with them. I just don't like the shininess of them. They get a lot of fingerprints and scratches. So someone else might be able to put them to use. Similar one to this. I really liked this one for a long time, but again, just really heavy and easily scratched. So I'm gonna pass it along. I'm really trying to make room for things that I use more often and these haven't been used in years. And then I've got the dress and another cap that goes with these. You can swap out the cap and I believe that's it. So two bags, slowly making progress. I'm also giving away this fan. I used this for about two years before I got my air conditioner. I don't really need it now. The air conditioner and the ceiling fan are more than I need. And I'm giving it to a friend who is glad to take it and either she or her boys will give it new life.